My name is Ravi Rajan. I'm a urologist at Urology Care Alliance, Bucks County, and I'm here to talk to you today about kidney stones. Kidney stones, unfortunately, are all too common. It can happen in both men and women and children to senior citizens. If you have a kidney stone, you have several different options. One option is just to observe the stone. If it's not hurting you and not blocking the kidney, you might be able to live with it and it may never bother you. However, if you do seek treatment for a kidney stone, there are different options. Shockwave lithotripsy is an excellent technique to treat kidney stones. In fact, in the United States, it's the most commonly used technology to target stones. The reason shockwave is excellent is because it is the least invasive way that we have. No one touches you. The technique basically is to lay on a table, such as the one behind me, have a little bit of anesthesia, and energy is sent through the air to hit the stone. After the procedure, you should have minimal pain. There may be some blood in the urine, and we hope after a few days that you will pass sand without any pain. One of the risks of shockwave lithotripsy is the stone doesn't break. The shockwave machine won't break every stone, and it's really dependent on what the stone is made of. If the composition is one that is very hard, the shockwave lithotripsy won't have that much success. Unfortunately, by looking at a CAT scan or an x-ray, we can't tell what the composition of the stone is. So before the procedure, I can't tell you if it's likely to break or not. Typically, I will tell my patients to take the day of the procedure off from work and the following day. Typically, the third day, somebody will be able to get back to work. I don't place any restrictions on my patients other than to avoid contact sports or anything that can injure the kidney. After the procedure, there may be pain. The pain won't be from the procedure itself, but from passing small fragments. It is possible that a fragment can get stuck in the ureter and create a lot of pain, which will require a trip to the hospital. This happens rarely, but the bigger the stone is, the more likely that this scenario will occur. Two weeks after the procedure, I will see you back in my office with an x-ray, and the x-ray will then tell me, did the shockwave procedure work or not work? We can't always tell at the end of the procedure here in the, ho in the surgery center or hospital if the stone broke. It sometimes can break, but it will stay together, and over time it will spread, and that's why we wait two weeks to get the x-ray. Another minimally invasive treatment is ureteroscopy with laser lithotripsy. Here a scope is placed into the urethra after anesthesia is provided and the stone is targeted with a laser. What I mean by that, the scope will go all the way to the stone and touch the stone with a laser and break it. The unfortunate part with ureteroscopy is a stent has to be left after the procedure for typically one to two weeks and the stent can be irritating. The other thing to keep in mind is if you do have a kidney stone and seek treatment. Find a urologist who has all the different tools that are available. Not everybody's a candidate for shockwave lithotripsy or ureteroscopy. And find a urologist who's performed many of these procedures.